Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today we are looking at... Okay, it's a little big. But we're taking a look today at Joseph Newgarden's 2022 Team Penske and Hitachi 118 scale. Um, you can see here we got the NTT IndyCar series here. Oh boy, I'm backing this up as far as I can. We got our number two for Joseph Newgarden on the box, and then it's got some information and a quote from Joseph Newgarden. So I uh, just want to show the box off real quick before I pull the car up because uh, I can put the car up here without having to, uh, I can't put them both at the same time. So there is our car for the 118 scale. Uh, I'm also going to show off three pins I'm adding with this one. First of which is this, the Hy-Vee IndyCar Race Weekend. He won the first race last year on Saturday. And then he also won the 2023 Hy-Vee Next Step 250 and the Hy-Vee Homefront 250. He won both races this year. Um, so there's actually three little pins I'm adding in, all which are Iowa race wins, uh, which was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to get this car. Uh, I saw him win at Iowa now three times out of four races, uh, and to be able to remember that dominance in this car, which is the car he ran at all three races that he won, and the fourth race that he would have won had he not crashed. Um, so yeah, cool to get this car. I love how I actually was able to get the ones with the proper wings. This is the short track and road course wing um, here on the front and back. So really glad that I actually had that. Because a lot of times these Indy cars will have the uh, Super Speedway wing for the Indy 500, and you won't get them with these road course wings. So I really do like that. I would love to see Greenlight offer, though, a way that you could actually get the t the new wings and be able to pop them on and off so you could set it up. And, you know, if you want the, a road course car, you could go get a road course wing and a, for a front and rear or a or a, a Speedway front or rear wing. But go be able to switch them back and forth to whatever you want to run that on your, on your car. So... Um, but let's take a look at it real quick. So this is the 118th scale from Greenlight. And you see we got Hitachi there. we got the chrome rims on the Firestone uh, tires. Uh, they do not have posable wheels. They kind of turn a little bit, but it's not really... You can see right here the steering linkage. It's like it's not meant to really turn as much as it is just flexing. Because you can see actually the rear would actually turn similarly. Um, so there's a lot of flex in it. You know, you can see a lot of bending and flexing. They're very... Um, flexible, which is a good thing because it keeps them from breaking, uh, but also it, it does feel a little bit cheap. You know, when you get down underneath the car, it's completely flat and actually kind of a lot of plastic down here. Uh, green light made in China, 2017 mold, so it hasn't changed in a while. Um, but we do have our, our windscreen or aero screen here. We got New Garden across the top. We got Siemens, we got Firestone, PPG and Snap-on, Hitachi on the back, also down here on the side, but otherwise it is plain black up there on the side pods um, on both sides, so that's good because this is a good spot for Joseph to uh, put a signature if I ever decide to get it signed. I can have it signed either there or just on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure which one would be best. Um, it'd almost be kind of cool back here, but anyway... Uh, yeah, on the front we do have Verizon, Shell, and Verizon over here again, Dallara chassis. Uh, we got our number two, we've got Hitachi, we got number two up here as well. We got Penske truck rentals, car shop. Uh, we go to the back here, like I said, this is the road course wing. Uh, you can actually see you got, uh, I think you got a decent amount of wiggle in there. Uh, but I would love to see them have detachable versions. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe they are detachable, but I don't think you can go just get another wing. I think you have to have one come with it. So if I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comments. But uh, we do have the chrome rims again. We got Firestone, Hitachi, we got Chevy, we've got uh, NTT. Uh, what is that? We got Mazak or Mazak. We got Mazak there on the side of the mirror on each side. Uh, we go back around. We got that big, nice front wing. Uh, this is the same uh, larger front wing that was on the Will Power car that he won with at the Roval or not Roval, the Indy Road Course. And I was able to throw the pin on. So I'm actually going to show you how I did that. I did pins like this. And then uh, this one has a third one, so I'm not sure where you would put it. But you could literally just slide the pins over the, the sides of the wing, and it would fit. Maybe I'll just throw this over the top like this. Bingo. Now all the pins are in there. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to display this one uh, right away because I do have this one and the Will Power car. And uh, we'll have actually a, another couple cars coming in. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to display this, but I was definitely glad to pick this one up because the current year version, the 2023 one, doesn't have the the short track wing and luckily it is the same paint scheme nothing really changed uh or livery i guess now that we're talking open wheel car but uh at least it looks the same as as in both seasons so i was able to pick up the one at least that had the correct wings on it so that's what made me pick this one up but um yeah that's i i picked it up for my own collection and getting to see him win so uh anyway guys that will pretty much wrap up the video let me know your thoughts on indycar 118th scales in general and uh, joseph newgarden's 2022 in the comments below other than that though guys thanks for watching this has been Race Craze.
and we will see you in the next DieCast Review.